The Acon Digital Mastering Suite contains a plugin that can simultaneously correct the frequency and dynamic characteristics of up to four audio bands. This is, of course, multiband dynamics. Basically, these are four dynamic plugins, each of which affects a specific frequency band. Frequency bands are divided using crossover filters, which can operate in linear phase or mixed phase modes. We've already discussed these modes earlier in the video dedicated to the Equalize 2 plugin. In short, linear phase will perform better in mastering as well as when processing non-percussive audio signals, while mixed phase will come in handy in situations where maximum preservation of audio transients is a priority. For example, when processing drums or synthesizer sounds with sharp attacks. Multiband dynamics should be primarily used on instruments whose dynamic characteristics, for one reason or another, cannot be adjusted using a full-band compressor, such as the Dynamics plugin discussed earlier. What could be the reasons? Well, let's take a look at a few options. Live and synthetic bass often contain a powerful low-frequency component, but at the same time rather inexpressive mids, and in order to extract some liveliness from such audio signals, we have to resort to compression. But wideband processing here very often leads to pumping, which partially or completely destroys bass as an instrument. Multiband processing, in turn, allows us to divide the frequency spectrum of a bass instrument into zones of influence in order to pull out the missing and leave the fundamental signal as untouched as possible. For example, on the MOOC track, I compress the lows and low mids slightly to make the instrument more stable while leaving the sub-lows intact. The linear phase crossover mode allows me to practically not intrude on the original tone of the instrument. Another example is live bass, where I compress in all frequency ranges so that every note of the instrument is audible and there aren't any too jumpy or too quickly decaying notes. The mixed phase mode here allows for a processing sound more like analog multiband compressors that slightly distort or color the timbre of the instruments, but do it musically. In linear phase, the processing is slightly boomy and lackluster. While mixed phase sounds more attacking and tenacious, I like it. Multiband also performs well on guitars and synthesizers that occasionally hum in the low end or low mids. There's such a synthesizer in our mix. It's Glide. As you can see, multiband processing allows us to control the lower end of the instrument's frequency spectrum. By controlling the low end, the mids cease to be masked, and it seems that the sound of the instrument becomes brighter and more intelligible. This is a very pleasant side effect of the treatment. Note that just like the Dynamics plugin, multiband dynamics can be used in dual mono mode, which is very useful with unbalanced left and right stereo signals like our glide. Such processing doesn't destroy the stereo image but on the contrary, even emphasizes it, making the sound of the recordings wider and more spacious. When processing vocals, multiband dynamics is difficult to overestimate. In this project, I used it on each voice track to solve several problems at the same time, to make voices more stable, expressive, intelligible, and less harsh, as well as to take control of aggressive siblings. Let's take a look at the lead vocal track. Here, I use low mids and high-end processing 
to bring the sound of the voice into balance. Why do you do it to me? I'm fragile, I won't be fine. I think you've noticed how much the lower mids stand out and make the voices booming. The same is with siblings. They're too aggressive and in the context of the project, this isn't good. Let's listen to the individual bands using the solo function. We had to try. Why to I've adjusted the crossover frequencies to only capture the signal that really needs processing. We can adjust the slope of the crossovers up to 48 dB or octave if desired, but the standard 12 dB or octave works best in most cases. On vocals, it's not always a good idea to use linear phase mode. If the voice is using intense spatial processing, mixed phase may work better. For example, on the fluttering track. Linear phase here sounds boomy and inexpressive. But mixed phase is clearly a better choice. As you can see, multiband dynamics is really great at solving a variety of tasks in the process of mixing audio recordings. Thank you and see you in the next video.